Collaboration is key to delivering results and advocating change whilst decarbonising the built environment. UK 100 is Britain's only cross-party network of local authority leaders committed to working together to achieve their ambitious climate and clean air goals. We spoke to UK 100 Chief Executive Christopher Hammond. Christopher Hammond, thank you for joining us. Now you are Chief Executive of UK 100. Just tell me about the organisation and what it does. So we are a network of local government leaders from across the country, from both urban and rural environments, who are coming together to deliver net zero for their communities ahead of the government's 2050 target. And how easy is that? It's not easy. Okay. We're talking about lots of different sectors here, from housing to transport uh, to energy. Everything that we do has some touch point on the journey to net zero. And some of the things that we do to support those local government leaders ranges from support and advice on retrofit programs to toolkits, roundtables, so that we can take that delivery experience on the ground and advocate for more powers and resources from national government. Okay, so what are your success stories? So we've supported lots of different councils from across the country. Uh, some of our best success stories are at times when we bring together local leaders to collaborate and work together. So in Gloucestershire, we brought all of those councils together to try and align their housing and transport strategies so that we have a situation where the new homes that we're building are connected to proper transport corridors. You also have opposition some of the time, sometimes from the public, uh, low emission zones, they caused a, a lot of anger out there. How easy is it for councils to, to take this on? It's really important that we take people with us on those net zero interventions like low traffic neighbourhoods, low emission zones, and good public policy means that you have to include people early on in that decision making process. Otherwise, if we just do two communities, it's not surprising when there's pushback. And if we think about the energy decarbonisation target and the work that's undertaking, that's going to be lots of pylons uh, in the countryside, in our towns, in our cities, and that's going to be quite challenging. And if people are seeing infrastructure go up, but not necessarily seeing the benefit of that, they're going to ask the question as why they need to shoulder that burden. So we need to see proper community benefits, and we need to see people's bills coming down so that they can see the benefits of getting to net zero. All councils are different, so what are you seeing? We've got a bit of a postcode lottery, so what works in one area isn't necessarily being replicated in another. And if you look at things like electric vehicle charging, uh, one council will have lamp posts where you can plug your electric car in overnight or, and charge up there. But you go a couple of minutes down the road and they'll have a different charging infrastructure, a different app that's being used, a different provider, a different kind of street furniture. Uh, some councils will build a gully so that you can trail a cable underneath the pavement so people don't trip up. Uh, but that's only been done in two councils across the country. And if we think about the amount of households we've got that don't have drives, they're the kind of interventions we need to see nationwide, not just on an ad hoc basis. And that's something UK 100 aims to do, is to kind of bridge that gap between local authorities and share that best practice out and avoid some of the pitfalls and mistakes that have already been made because we have a new government now. Are you happy with that? We're really excited about some of the changes that have already been announced. We're really excited about things like the energy decarbonisation target. We think there's, uh, it's ambitious, but it can be delivered. We're excited about the retrofit piece with the Warms Home Plan. But what we need to see is greater powers being devolved down. So the English devolution bill that's being proposed, it needs to be absolutely embedded in climate action. If we're empowering our regions, if we want to see economic growth locally in our towns, our villages and our cities, it needs to be aligned to climate action and net zero to deliver the things we want to see. Okay, Christopher, thank you very much. Thank you.